Continuing on with our player previews, we thought it was important to go over, in our opinion, a well-overlooked signing in Phoenix this offseason. Hit that like for us, and please tell us in the comments below. What do you think of the 27-year-old, 7th-year veteran, Keita Bates Diop, who in my opinion, Sundo, is a top three candidate for being the fifth starter this season. Agree or disagree? Yeah, I think he's got as good a chance as anybody else. I mean, between him, Jordan Goodwin, Eric Gordon, Yuta, heck, maybe even Metu at some times. Between any of those guys, I think he's got just as good a chance to be in the starting five. We'll get right back to Kata Bates Diop, but first, a quick message from our partners at SNHU. This video is sponsored by Southern New Hampshire University. Do you remember that one time we put out a Kelly Oubre video about creating a mid-level exception, but I was completely clueless and had to make a retraction and it was a big embarrassment? I remember when you strong-armed me into lying to the public. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You know what would have been handy at the time? I'm assuming a degree from Southern New Hampshire University. Something like that. Education, Gabe. Knowing what you're talking about mm. would have definitely came in handy at that time. And so I felt super inexperienced at the time. And if you ever feel like me, well, I have some news for you. You can sign up at Southern New Hampshire University. Is this one of those unaccredited colleges, Sundo? No, Gabe, we would never do that to our people. As a matter of fact, SNHU has one of the largest accredited nonprofit online degree offerings in the country, Gabe. Mm. They offer all sorts of degrees, Gabe, but I want to talk to you about the communications degree because you know what? We could have used some communication. At SNHU, with their communications degree, you learn how to effectively communicate in different ways from speaking to writing and even visually. You'll partner with faculty with real world experience to analyze and recommend effective communication strategies and learn how to use communication tools to spread your messages. Plus, you can dive deeper into the field with a concentration in business communication, new media, professional writing, or or public relations. The best part to me, Sundo, is Southern New Hampshire University has radically affordable tuition rates. Mm. They are some of the lowest in the nation. Mm. So if you're looking for a degree, this could be perfect for you. Check out the link in the description to see what the current average salary for a communications degree is and request free information about the program. When you request information, a real person will hop on a call and discuss how the program can benefit you personally. So it only takes one click to find your calling. So real quick, the basics and recent history with Kata Bates Diop. Six foot eight, 229 pounds, and Sundo, he was a legit star in college for Ohio State his last year. Last season, he averaged 9.7 points per game on the whole of the season, 3.7 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 50% from the field, and 39.4 from the three-point line. So right at 40 from three. You remember at the end of the season, we started seeing more players that we didn't see a lot for the Suns getting more minutes, like Baisley finally got to play. Well, at that point in the season, Keita Bates Diop, who was playing a lot more than Baisley, he also at least got an increase in minutes. And dude, his stats jumped up. He went to averaging 18 points a game in that time in the month of April, 4.8 rebounds, so a full rebound more, doubled his assists up to 3.8. 2%, 53% from the field, and a blistering 47% from three in the month of April. So I talked with Gary, Spurs fan Gary, because he'd be the perfect guy to ask. I asked him a lot of questions, one of which was, what are his struggles? What are his issues? What's, it, what's the negatives? And he said he struggles with some inconsistency, depending on how much he's getting played. He said he needs to get played a lot or else his effort starts to dip. It's not just, oh, well, his stats are dipping because he's not playing as much. It's you can see that his effort is dipping. That's one reason I kind of want to start him because I think we'd get the most out of him. But he's a really good defender. You've called him a poor man's Kawhi. Talk to me about why you think that. I mean, I just see some similarities there. And as we as we already talked, you know, we're not talking like the all-star Kawhi that we are now. I'm talking rookie Kawhi, you know, coming off the bench for those Spurs teams and what was it, 2013 with the, for the championship? Like that Kawhi Leonard, I'm seeing shades of that. I just see similarities with the way he scores. He's long, solid shooter. Surprisingly enough, you know, I didn't think he was going to be a good attacker of the rim, but when you watch his highlights, he seems to get there with ease. He seems to be able to put the ball in the rim with ease too, with the long arms and 
and with layups and whatnot. And so I just see a lot of similarities there. And of course, obviously, he plays in San Antonio, so that has a lot to do with it there as well. Cornrows, cornrows, <laughs> all of that stuff, man. You know, but no, but but for real, like like just just the parallels and talent. That's what I see is just super poor man, always save, great value version of Kawhi Leonard. Like we got Kawhi Leonard at home. Like that's what I see with Kade Bates Diop. That's not shade to Kade Bates Diop. Like I'm just saying, like that's just the similarities that I see. Gary also said that he's not crazy fast or speedy, but he can guard two through four on the other team, depending on how good of a ball handler the two is. I asked him, knowing who the Suns have on the team, would you start him? And he said, absolutely, he should start for the Suns. And I said, as far as positionally, like what position should he spend the most time at? He said the four, which... If you're not going to start Okogi or somebody like that, it gives you an opportunity to put Kevin Durant at the three, which mm -hmm. I personally feel more comfortable with him at. I don't know about you or what he thinks. Yeah, I feel way, way better with KD at the three. I just don't want KD. I mean, yes, this is a new NBA, but I don't want to see KD take a lot of bumps at the four. You know what I mean? Now, you know, just depending on what Frank Vogel wants to do. I know Monty played a lot of small ball four, so that's one thing. But Frank Vogel seems to be almost in the opposite direction of he wants his bigs to be able to thump and get rebounds and do some dirty work. So, yes, put KD at the three. Put someone like KD Bates D up at the four. He's a hustler. And as you mentioned, you get him some starting minutes, he'll be focused he'll be able to get you some of those threes because like i'm really enticed by the 39 percent but also what you even said even better what was it 47 percent like i'm more enticed about that you know in that in that starting five versus you know anything else just because once again we've talked about it between beal booker and kd someone's going to be wide open and someone's going to have to be able to hit and so kd bates diop seems to be one of the guys that can do that leave him there I, I absolutely do like the idea of him it's either between him or yuda i want someone with that sort of build at the four in a starting lineup someone who's going to be long someone who's going to be able to make a shot all that stuff so between yuda and kd are like my top two. Yeah, I was thinking potentially Chemezi Metu, but the more I look into it, it seems like he's a five stylistically. Yeah. His game is yeah. a five. He's just the height of a four. So I say you just save him for when we need someone at the five. If a certain trade happens of a certain former number one overall pick, maybe Chemezi <laughs> gets some more minutes at five than anyone expected. So other things that Spurs fan Gary told me about him, because he's been watching him the whole time, obviously, he's been playing in San Antonio. He says he's super unselfish and he never feels like he needs the ball in his hands. He'll do everything that he's asked to do, never complain, but he's not scared to score. He'll go get you buckets. He's just not going to yeah. be clapping for the ball or anything like that, and the ball will not stick to his hand. I talked to Romp and Gary at the same time, and they both agreed on these two comparisons. And I think you're going to like these. I told you one, the offensive-minded Tory Craig. Here's the big one, though. They both agreed unanimously that he is a young Jeff Green. Hmm. And we know that that means awesome role player. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the comparison of an offensive mind to Torrey Craig is, in my opinion, perfect when you look at the highlights and just comparing him to Torrey Craig. Because, you know, what was our thing about Torrey Craig? We just kept saying, man, this dude is not consistent sometimes. Torrey Craig, there will be some games he gives you 20, other games he gives you nothing. So, yeah, if we can get him a more offensive minded Toy Craig with him and he can get us a consistent, I don't know, nine, eight points a game, hit some threes, get some rebounds. I mean, the rebounds is the really the more important, you know, part of this formula um, that I think about is just what, what did we say about last year? We just could not get rebounds. Nobody wanted to box out. Nobody wanted to do the dirty work. You get somebody who, who's willing to do that. I'm all for it. So I do like him in the starting lineup for sure. I do like what he brings to the table as well as all the other players that we signed. I mean, we already talked about this. The formula seems to be clear. We want to get dudes who are six, seven, six, eight long, able to hit buckets. It's just that simple. And we have a ton of them. Man, I just cannot wait for this season to start. It's going to be X. so much fun and excitement all year. We can't wait to see you guys in the live streams. We're going to be live streaming the preseason. Tell us in the comments, though, who do you guys want us to preview next? Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time.